You got to transfer yourself and then arch your back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, man. Y'all hired this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Charles was having uh, a little uh, bit of fun at LeBron's expense, oh. talking about his receding hairline and the fact that the, that the headband, <laughs> headband had been changing through the years. Okay. And who knows where it would be. Uh, and I hope LeBron liked it, man. Yeah, basically you were encouraging him to come on home, home and, and on shave your head like other, every other bald black guy yeah. who we, had a receding hairline and came on home. <laughs> we, are, home baby. we were not going to just let that story lay out there. It, it, it was crying for some investigative reporting oh and, my uh, gosh. Uh -oh. and a special. that uh, This is a TNT original. Watch. LeBron, you've been faced with tough decisions before. You're familiar with the process. Uh, I am, too. I, uh, I got a little process I'm, I'm dealing with as well. Um, but that evidence from the headbands is, uh, is pretty unmistakable. Um, how are you dealing with the process? Um, this process has been everything I've thought um, and more. No, I, I understand. I understand totally. Um, have you had your scalp looked at by anybody professionally I mean do you, do you have any idea how many hair follicles you have up there uh, not many so it's a very very small number and I probably could count it on my fingers <laughs> <laughs> sorry to hear that hey Charles has been saying come home his way of saying shave your head um, have you given that much thought have you consulted anyone um, this morning um, I woke up, I had a, a great conversation with my mom, and, uh, you know, once I had that conversation with her, I think I was, uh, I was set. So is it safe to say you, you, you are going to come home, you're going to join Kenny and, and Charles and Shaq in the, in the hairless club? That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. All right, King, the uh, next move is yours. Y'all, I have no part of it. I can't, I'm not even on the set, man. I'm not even on the set with this, man. I, I, I'm not down with this, man. Come on, man. You took it too far, man. Hey, LeBron. Man. Yo, it wasn't it me, LeBron. Far, it was him. Hey, Ernie, put your hand up. Hey. It was him, LeBron. Hey, hey, hey Shaq. Hey, it was jokes, me. and then this is too far. <laughs> it was Ernie took it too hey, far, it man. Wasn't me. Hey, Ernie, man. It's Charles Barkley. I've been watching back in Miami. I'm going to tell you what, boy. You been watching back in Miami. I'm hey, done. Come on, I'm not the same part of that one. Uh, I'm not oh, down with that one. It wasn't me, LeBron. <laughs> I'm not down with that one. It was Charles Cornelius Barkley. Hey. Oh, hey, no, 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 Queen Latifah, one of my favorite people in the world. Are you serious, Ernie? Hey, LeBron, we're just joking, man. Jumping oh, shit. Love you. Oh, Ernie, shit. man, you off the chain right now. <laughs> <laughs> you off the chain, man. Yo, Ernie, man, you ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> you are not right, hey, man. Oh, my God. Yo. So now, if I dig and let's say you spin, go ahead and spin. Right? And I'm spinning, I caught you. Right. Right? Right. I caught right. you. Now right. go up and shoot that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 And, 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 and <laughs> Their bench outscores Philadelphia 44 to 26. That's their uh, the BWA, as Marcus Morris refers to it. The bench mean? with attitude. Okay. Ooh. And they win at 105. You can't say that. Uh, right. well, 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 we, know that boy, we know that Morris boy got attitude. 105 to 87. Why got attitude? Oh, because his mama had a bad date and they whooped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> they whooped the dude ass. And where they take it to you, that Chuck? They took it to Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, you take my mom to Applebee's, I'm going to whoop your ass. Philadelphia comes out on the short end of this one. Paul Pierce, mm. game one, 2008 NBA Finals. Remember this? Uh, is this the fake Willis League one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Paul. I'm just, I, I mean, I, did I say fake? That yeah. just came out. I'm sorry.
Well, you shouldn't really say that unless it's but it is true. <laughs> well, it was oh, come on, boy, come come on, six forty nine mark of the third man. quarter. He goes down. Come on. Uh, oh, he's back out of here. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. I'm just sorry. I don't believe it. Get out of here. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. And now he's back at the at the five oh four mark of the third on, period. Man. He comes back. And like that was like a minute and a half oh, of game time. Yes, yeah. that's a golden globe if I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you kidding me, Paul Ferry? I'm sorry. Hey, you would have won it if it was hey, true, Ernie, but that Ernie, ain't true. He hit two, two three-pointers in 22 seconds. Me and Ken, yeah. me and Ken are going to make an executive decision. <laughs> Even if this one wins, we ain't going to let it win. <laughs> oh, man. That's like Cedric Sabalas with the blindfold. He can see. And that doesn't matter because tonight it's all about raising numbers to the rafters. Reggie Miller at Conseco Fieldhouse. There goes number 31. And this... Obviously, is a uh, is a feeling uh, which some of you guys have felt before. Magic oh, Johnson. Oh, I already got the joke. Jersey, I see it coming on. Raised to the Raptors. I see it. Already. It was five years ago tonight. I see it already. Charles Barkley saw oh, 34 oh, in Philadelphia. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, what? Oh, I'm so here. Walking off. There is a TNT. TNT. The Grady, this is a McGrady jersey. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? No, come on. No, no, play me out like that. Get back. Hey, I'm going to just tell you something. Women be milking that baby thing, too. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Charles. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 why you never buy your, uh, a woman a uh, watch? Why you, what, say it again, Kevin. Why you never buy a woman a watch? Because there's a clock on the stove. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder. I just, I always wonder why, you know. Hey, come on, Ernie. I just, I just, I've heard it all before. Uh, that's, uh, that's, come on. Back here on the Sprint Halftime Report, uh, LeBron with a tweet. My man, Sir Charles, can't wait to see you as well. Going to be electrifying. Don't let the boys up there clown your specs. <laughs> Swag out, Thank Chuck. you, LeBron King. Hey. I can't wait to get to Cleveland, baby. <laughs> no. Hey, ain't LeBron. nothing swaggy about that. Yeah, hey, LeBron, you know uh, those. Those, You know those look kind of crazy. Put your glasses down. <laughs> yeah, we're on the side. Well, Pull them down. Yeah, right, man. Man. Just, just got to fit them around that that ear. As I told you, kids in America, don't let your friends make fun of you for But your doctor never mentioned LASIK to you. No, the doctor. Introducing doc, the new What kind of doctor is that? That never mentioned LASIK. Hey, he just said he has buy some glasses. Kenny, introducing hey, hey. the new watermelon friend. <laughs> Charles Clark. <laughs> Can fit around any head. That's from Phoenix, where he'll be calling the Clippers and Suns later tonight, and where he apparently spent 45 <laughs> minutes in the makeup chair. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty wow, chucky. Sparkly. Pretty chucky with the wow, You though. are really, really uh, looking uh, like the eyebrows. Oh, awesome. stuff. Pretty. Eyebrows Woo! looking real sharp. Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> wow. And ladies and gentlemen, America's next top model. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. How, how's, it, how's it feel to be back? <laughs> Oh, 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 they're killing you, Chuck. Oh, they're killing you, Chuck. Oh, they're killing you, man. What happened to your eyebrows uh, uh, on that? See, Kenny hates oh. on me because I've been getting my eyebrows waxed. All right, listen. Have you always seen those things? I have been. Oh, my hey, listen, God. Hey, hey listen, I, ain't no shame in my game. I'm sorry. Ain't I'm no sorry, shame America. In, right, listen, ain't no shame in my game. I get my eyebrows done. Are you kidding You're me? You're paying for that? I am. I, I, just for the record, I get other things waxed too. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. I do. I get other things waxed. I get my eyebrows done too. All right. Oh! <laughs> one more, one more. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ain't no shame in my game either. I look like I eat chicken on TV. I get my lips done and I get waxed everywhere. You don't want to know where I get waxed. Hey, ain't no shame in my game too. I got my gel back. I got my oh, that's still dripping. The gel still dripping. Ain't no shame in my game either. I'm sorry. Ain't no shame in my game. Twelve point game. Kobe's in trouble. Ronnie He's got Ronnie was. Price. I tell you what, them Lakers, the weapons the Lakers got, I don't even think we can beat Guam in a war. <laughs> <laughs> There's Trevor Ariza. I can't <laughs> like that. Uh, oh. again, who Terrence Jones. Can't even beat Guam in a war. <laughs> Here's where, late in the game, Three is what you said, right? That's about right. Okay, good. Of course it's gonna. Not be like right. you. I, don't you ever get tired of saying that, Charles? You right? <laughs> don't have to say it. Don't you get a little button over there, <laughs> Charles? You right? <laughs> it, it would rarely be used. We'll be back with more on Inside, on Auto Tune. I wish I was in the Bahamas with Quinn, Kenny, oh, and Gwen. Oh, by the way, you know what? Um, and, and you already know this, but you folks out there don't know it. Uh, every now and then we have to tape these promos and uh, you know we did the Ron Artest thing we have the Lakers coming up next week and the week after that and so you know we just <laughs> people are already laughing so we we put these little <laughs> promos on tape to try to get you folks to watch the game and they need to be punchy and concise and you know really <laughs> deliver something to make you want to watch the game and here's just an example of what happened tonight and why these always go so smoothly I got two words for you Steve Nash and Chris Paul, must-see TV. That's more than two words. You didn't say two words. You said quick to the point. You just said I got two words. <laughs> Steve Nash and Chris Paul, must-see See, that's TV. why I messed up, because I was Steve. trying to think of two words. I could have I I said that. that. Okay. Two words. Nash and Paul. That's three words. That's three words. <laughs> Wait, I said Nash and Paul. I got Paul. one. Y'all go count and as a word. <laughs> Suddenly. And is not a word. <laughs> Nash Paul. <laughs> hey, man, Gosh. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes I hate working here. <laughs> You're just mad we stopped yeah, at 70, 75. <laughs> we were down to 200 to 75. You might have made the list. <laughs> hey, this is Charles Barkley. I hope you're enjoying the NBA playoffs on TNT. And I hope you have enjoyed my T-Mobile Fade 5 list. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> So far. You don't read ahead like when you're reading the prompt either, like you can't see the words ahead. No, I can read. I don't have to read it through it. TNG's The Alienist premieres this Monday at 9 p.m. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I know what you're gonna say. Y'all giving him credit for knowing how to read? <laughs> All right, won't you read it then? Come on, go. dude. All right, no, no, no I won't. Go ahead, go. Go ahead, Chuck. Wait. Go ahead. TNT The Alienist premieres. <laughs> <laughs> The, the TNT what? the aliens. The aliens. TNT the aliens. Premieres this Monday no. at nine. This not. This is not a word. <laughs> this is a, no. This is a word. Not this. This ain't a word. D I S. Go ahead. D I S is not a word. Hey, it's man. Not up go, on Y'all quit screwing around. All right, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Second, I can't read. No, there go. Hey. No, you gonna have people who you can't read. TNT the aliens. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> okay, aliens. it's time. Hey, it's time for more Shaq than a fool. All Just right. stop it, man. Stop. <laughs> Uh, why is Kenny dressed like Diet UPS? <laughs> Dude, he take a shot. He said he looked like the UPS guy. What, what can Brown do for you? <laughs> oh, get it, Chuck. Get it, Chuck. Oh, Gorilla. Dad, Dad, Gorilla. <laughs> yeah, oh, get it, Chuck. <laughs> you win. You win. Give him $1,000 while he gets on the gift cards. Yeah, right right uh, that's a wrap for Inside the NBA. It's presented by Kia. Go ahead, Chuck. You can give them around. All the crews are hanging out. Let me get one, Chuck. Uh, you ain't getting none. You ain't wearing Nike. So, hey, uh, Chuck, if I take three cards, do I get Nike? When, you know, when Shaq sees Cisco, he break out some fried chicken. <laughs> that's Crisco, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> that's Crisco. <laughs>
that was pretty good. The one you did before halftime, that was impressive with the two balls. <laughs> That's right. Mammals Brando. <laughs> hey, I, I will break Mammals Brando's ankles if he came to the studio right now. Come on, Kenny. This was impressive right before the half. Now take that, Brando. Take that, Brando. Take that, Brando. Keep up with that. And you I'm too Jamal can, Crawford on. You too can learn that if you go to Kenny Smith's basketball camp. Oh, yeah. Look at that form, Chuck. Oh, Kenny Smith. Get low. Kenny Smith. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Anybody can dribble one time. No, you can't do it. Got a chance to do something tomorrow night, uh, you know, win a win a series. And the last time they did it, the Buffalo Braves, eight of their 12 current players weren't born yet. <laughs> Mike Dunleavy drafted 99th, and Charles was entering the eighth grade again. Uh, that's <laughs> Johnny O'Connor, our research guy. Hey, that's a Johnny O'Connor. That's a funny guy. <laughs> just, so, just so you don't threaten to hit me, uh, it, it wasn't me. Uh, meantime, there was an incident in that game involving uh, Reggie Evans and Chris Kamen that folks are talking about, and uh, Chris came in none too happy about this, and you see in the paint, why did he push Reggie Evans down, because we'll slow it down, Evans What do you mean he wasn't hand. too happy? Why would he be happy yeah. about that? As he, oh. <laughs> yes, he was, got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, and, 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 and then and Chris came, I don't know where you get your cookies from. And Chris came, <laughs> Ernie, that's true, Ernie. I don't know where you get your cookies at, but the rest of us don't get our cookies. And Chris, and, and Chris came and talked about it. <laughs> the cookies. The cookies. Let me grab my nuts. Yeah, I'm grab what did you just say? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, no, I mean, not really. It just shocked me. It was just so surprising. I was just like, wow, you know, like, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was unbelievable. I mean, to, I mean. In a basketball game where you're playing basketball with someone just to grab your nuts and then not sometimes you know like you're boxing out you hit somebody or something whatever but this dude reached from behind me grab my nuts and pull them you know back towards to try to rip them off basically you know like and I just could, I, I mean I couldn't believe it I, honestly the first time I was, you know what just happened you know, like it just got violated right and I've been playing basketball games so then I think you know like maybe I just, just drilled this dude and I'm like man you know what I do that I'm on his level I'm gonna go and just do what he just did it's just kind of thought in my head, you know, I can't afford to sit out the game for money reasons and for, you know, reasons of missing the game, I, you know, it's just not worth it, so I just, you know, shoved him a little bit. Do you feel and, he should uh, be fined or suspended? I think he, both, it's warranted for both of them, I mean, if you guys ever seen something like that before in a sporting, you know, it's not a basketball game, let, you know, let me know. Well, let's ask three players. Well, I mean, he says he's never even seen that in the dirtiest three-on-three -three tournament. <laughs> now, the Gus Smacker. <laughs> yeah, the Gus Smacker tournament. Three-on-three. Yeah. Three. So, uh, talk to me. Uh, I oh, mean, you see this thing happen, and he says, I've never seen anything like this happen in a basketball game before. Well, as you know, it happened. I see you've seen a couple of college players have done it in the last... In the last year, they got in trouble for it. And there was a Garnett episode a couple of years ago with the Francisco Elson. Same, not not exactly the but same. But that's sneaking up from behind. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, that's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Where is this going, man? No. This is nuts. Wow. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't want to even go in. I'm done with it. It's you don't want to talk about? How about the series? Oh, you want to talk about man. that? Well, you know, you got to be. I right, listen. I'm impressed with the Clippers. Lost a uh, <laughs> tough game three. Came back, played fantastic. And I expect them to, to close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you tried. You really did. You no, tried to no, center. I said, hey, 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 that's that's flagrant foul right, uh, like hey, hey, right here. I'm, I'm still in like shock right, right now. I'm, I'm still in cause shock about the cooking job. Yes, yes, Where'd you get your cookies at? Would you rather have? Oh. Would you? Would you? <laughs> 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 Hurry in the cooking job. Oh, that. I guess you do get your cookie down at the oh, door, though, oh, Ernie. Oh, oh, man. I guess I should have stuck with just lane violation. Oh, when we come oh, back, boy. Uh, game four. I'm Ooh, never eating a LA. cookie again. Not from the, not from the jobs <laughs> now. <laughs> the Sun and the Lakers. Oh, I ate some of that cake tonight, too. Huh? <laughs> oh, they said it was red velvet. It's a red velvet cake oh, tonight. My god. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. <laughs> Hey, and uh, as always, an entertaining addition of Shaq and the Fool. Entertaining for me and Kenny, especially uh, while this was going on. Charles, apparently they had the camera trained on you during Shaq and the Fool. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Sleep nights, man. It's, it's not <laughs> two in the morning, man. I thought you only slept it's during the uh, open late. court. It's not that oh. late. You know, man. it's not that late. I'm the only person on this stage be working out. Oh, get out of here. I'm I got a new word for you, Chuck. Dash. You didn't Chuck, want to I got twice. a new word for you. Narcolepsy. <laughs> <laughs> Spell it, Chuck. Uh, yeah. uh, when we come back. N A R C O Lepsy. Underdog, put that put on a hundred t shirts and pass them out for Christmas. We got visitors uh, bearing food uh, that's good for you oh when we come God. back. You're on Jack the Pooh wasn't so boring, I wouldn't have gone asleep. Presented <laughs> by Kia. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, sleepy Floyd. <laughs> <laughs>